Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to show you how to work with some standard components in a couple of different ways. Uh, in this case, we have this little structural piece that we want to work with, and we want to bolt it together. If I zoom up in this corner, you'll see that I have some standard screws, some spring washers, and some nuts. Okay, And I'm just going to show you a couple different ways to work within the product today. So to start with, let's go to the other side. And yes, we could pattern this and be done with it, but let's show you the manual way first. Maybe the first thing I want to do is I want to determine where my holes are. So I'm going to go up here to modeling and do a drilling. Now this is a special drilling function actually because this function allows you to apply drillings to, through multiple parts at the same time. So here I'm going to choose my position and I'm just going to locate it a half inch by a half inch there. Okay, and As you can see it's putting a hole through that part to begin with. But what I want to do is I want to add this part to it as well. And you can see that by doing so that the preview shows the hole going through everything. Now I'll go down to my drilling and here I want to do a 13 millimeter hole, why not? And I'll say OK. Now I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to do the same hole down here, it's just going to basically copy my settings anyway. We'll bolt that one and we'll say OK. So now we have our holes going through, and I'm just going to pop this over here, uh, going through both of those dynamically. So that's kind of fun. Now at this point maybe we want to start adding some washers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my little tool down here and I'm going to do a search for families that contain washers. And like that we have a variety of different washers we can use. And here I'm just going to start with maybe this washer here and I'm going to drag and drop it onto my assembly. And I'm just going to position it near that hole and you notice that it automatically centers itself. And here I'm going to say I'm looking for an M12 washer. And I'll say OK. Now like that I want to use that same washer on that side and on both sides over there. So I'm going to minimize this because I don't need to be in there anymore and I'm going to hold control down and drag and drop it out into my assembly making a copy of it and drop it right there and we're done. We'll flip this thing over and we'll drag and drop one over to this side as well. We'll say OK. Control drag and drop make another copy near this hole. So here we have four spring washers in our assembly and now finally we want to insert our screw so let's bring back our library search here. And this is really cool, by the way, because this is allowing me to search for families within all projects or within my specific project called Buy Top Solid Today or in my current project, or we can even go forward or backwards. There's all sorts of fun things. So here I want to do a search for bolt now. And there's my two different bolt choices. I'm going to choose, uh, why not this one? Okay. Now here, the first thing I want to do is choose the type of wizard I want to run. And here I want to do what's called a bolt in a hole. So I'm going to kind of just zoom up here and locate it right on that face. And dimensionally, I want it to find the family based on the hole diameter of my washer. And I don't care about that, so I'll say OK. And we'll say OK there. And now, of course, again, I can close this down and just drag and drop copies of this as needed. So now we have our two bolts. And I accidentally just made a copy of a part here that I don't need. There we go. Alright, so now we have that. Now we just need our washers, or pardon me, our nuts. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to go search the PDM database here for a nut, and we'll find the nut that we want to use. Sure, we'll use this one. And I'm going to put it right there and say OK. And then I'll drag and drop a copy of it right to there. So you can see just in a matter of a few short minutes that I was able to modify my assembly and put my bolts in the way I want. And I'm going to go to my frames here and hide those. We'll hide all that. And like that, we've now bolted our structural pieces together.